an understanding of how the structure of an acid influences its strength and acidity is something that belongs a bit more in the domain of organic chemistry rather than general chemistry. However, for GenChem, it is useful to understand in a fairly basic way how certain parts of the structure of these bonds can influence how strong an acid is. And so there are three main factors that you should recognize for things that increase the strength of an acid. And these are all somewhat related. The first of these is a weak bond between the proton and the other part of the acid. And this is something that's specifically looking at Bronsted-Lowry and Arrhenius definitions in particular because Lewis gets a bit more complicated and may not involve a proton. But you want a weak HA bond, which makes sense because if the bond between the proton and the rest of the acid is weak, that makes it more likely to donate that proton and then function as an acid. You also want this to be polar. And one thing to be aware of is that a polar HA bond is usually a rather weak one. And third, you want a conjugate base that is very stable. And that brings in other factors like resonance and electronegativity differences. But the more stable the conjugate base is, the stronger that acid will be. Now the reason that these are all related can be illustrated by looking at HCl, hydrochloric acid. If we are to look at this HCl bond, remember that any covalent bond is formed by the sharing of two electrons. But in this case, because the chlorine is so electronegative, you're more likely to find the electrons spending their time closer to the chlorine. And because of that, you can envision it's not going to be all that difficult to just separate the hydrogen or the proton from these electrons because of the fact that they're already spending a fair bit of time near the chlorine. And so this makes it clear that this is a weaker HA bond because it wouldn't be too tough to just cleave the weak connection that this proton had with the two electrons in that covalent bond. This bond is a polar bond. That's the definition of a polar bond. You have a very electronegative species that tends to attract the electrons toward it more. And then the stability of the conjugate base, what you're really asking is how comfortable is that conjugate base going to be when it accepts both of these electrons and then ends up going negative as a result. So this becomes a Cl minus. And Cl is a very electronegative atom. And so that means that it's very comfortable having electrons in its nearby environment. And another thing to remember is that because Cl is a halogen, it is something that where it picks up that extra electron, it ends up getting a complete octet and becoming very stable. And so for general chemistry, recognize that having a weak HA bond, a polar HA bond, and a conjugate base that is very stable are all factors that increase the strength of an acid. And all of these are somewhat related to each other, which can be seen in something like HCl. But you also may see stability evidenced by resonance structures and things like that also. And so these are different ways to evaluate the strength of an acid in general chemistry. And now we'll go into the list of strong acids and strong bases, which is one you should have committed to memory by the time you're tackling these questions on the MCAT.